welcome to our channel ladies and gentlemen no intimidation no fear there is nothing that will stop them the gen z have decided that aluta continua they have picked it from where they left it despite all the threats from the government i have seen a video people are in the cbd but there is one that has, has, has caught my attention the police is trying to arrest a young lady and the brother has said no the brother is shielding the sister from the police and she's saying oneni nashikwa bila kufanya anything and i want you to watch this video because it will tell you that parents have allowed their children to go to the street not one not two a brother and a sister kindly take a look ladies and gentlemen as we explore more about this big day total shutdown occupy parliament <laughs> Now the reason why I picked this video among all the uprising ones is because it, it, it caught my attention that that is a brother and a sister who are on the street. You know, uh, if, it, if, if it were me, maybe I would have told my sister, But you see, even the young ladies are not left behind. And then I'm imagining the parents know that I'm releasing my sister, I'm releasing my brother, and they are going to the streets. And even if the parents do not know, a brother and a sister are walking together, knowing very well that their two uh, colleagues, counterparts, had been killed. And they don't fear because, you know, some sometimes fear is instilled in this young generation. But they still go. I want you to imagine they still go knowing very well that they might not get back alive. And so they have decided it is either we die lying down or we die fighting. And I like that spirit. If you realized that is a determined spirit, he's telling them no. And the police must be called out. They are arresting, when you saw those ladies, the, 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 the lady and the brother, they, they, they are not carrying any weapon. They are peaceful. And so I'm wondering, then how do you pretend that you are maintaining law and order? Let this government know that for every one person they arrest, ten more will arise. Those are not my words, but the words of William Somerito himself when he was campaigning in 2022 and he was lamenting against his boss, Uhuru Kenyatta, and he said that they cannot sell fear. How is it to Zia Woga? Now William Ruto must eat his words. At this juncture, I'm reminded of uh, a tweet that the late Jacob Juma gave Kenyans before he went to be with the Lord. And Jacob Juma said, they will tax more than silence and kill our young youth for protesting. This post has been shared by Hanifa, one of the very prominent people who are protesting on the street, and I think she was also arrested. And I find it true what Jacob Juma said. They will tax more than silence and kill our young youths for protesting. Our young youths are protesting and they only have one message. Atutaki imswada. Today is the D-Day and William Ruto and his Members of Parliament are determined to please the West, to please the Britainhood, Britainhood institutions, to adhere to what World Bank and uh, IMF is saying, and they don't care about the people who elected them. The last time I checked, William Ruto said 
He was elected by hustlers. He was elected by all the people across board. Today, he's arresting the, arresting the young generation. The role of the police is to maintain law and order. I want you to see these policemen who are now apprehending innocent uh, gener generation Z on the street. Look at the houses that they live in. I mean, Mabati structures. And when people go out there to fight for the rights of all, they are there fighting people in the street instead of cooperating with them. I mean, do you want to tell me that those siblings are, 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 are a danger? Even if they were to stand there without any was how are they a danger to, to, to the police? Because the police is only supposed to use violence when they are, their lives are threatened or when they want to extremely protect property that is being destroyed. I mean, it beats no logics. And it shows you that the generation is so determined, nothing is going to stop them, and they will achieve what they want. No retreat, no surrender. And uh, today, the, 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 the Kenya National of Human Rights has warned that they are following very closely the police who will perpetrate any kind of atrocity who will maim or kill any Kenyan, will carry his own cross. And I want to remind uh, our police, after 207, the commission of police was sent, went to Hague alone, because he was in charge of the police when, when the police committed atrocities. Now sometimes you can go to the street and kill and maim, saying that you are working for William Ruto. But when the time comes, you will be alone. You will carry your own cross. And this is why our policemen must understand that their work is to maintain law and order. Law and order in this sense simply means that they protect property and they also protect the people who are protesting. You cannot stop an idea whose time has come. And ladies and gentlemen, this is an idea whose time has come. Nothing will stop it. It is unstoppable. And the Gen Z are determined that they're going for it. Remember, yesterday they got backing from the church. The church said, we support the peaceful demonstrations. We support the protest. Because this is the only way. This is the only language that the government will listen to. The church has, has said no. Civil societies have said no. Kenyans have said no. The only person who is saying yes is Kuria Kimani, William Ruto. We have a, a majority leader in the National Assembly. Those are the only people who are saying, and, and indeed in Europe, who are saying yes, and they are forcing other Kenyans. We were told that they were bribed, they were given some money to pass it. And I want to see these members of parliament who have decided that they are going to pass this bill, I want to know who you are working for and I want to see how you are going to mingle with your constituents. I don't know, because you still think you'd believe in the older, older way of politics that you will rob us, you perpetuate corruption, you pass these retrogressive laws, then you wait for an electioneering year, election year, then you bribe us. This time around, it is going to be very difficult for you because the Gen Z will, told, will tell you we are not taking your dirty money. Kimi Omana, Nikubaya. No one still believes that he can call leaders the way they used to do in the old politics with Moi. You call leaders of the student leaders in, at, at the university. You give them money and then they betray their fellow comrades. This time around, no betrayal. They are determined that they are going to do it together. How do you make? What do you make about that picture? A brother saying, you can't go with my sister. And this is the unity that the Gen Z has got. They have gone there with one purpose, to liberate Kenya, to emancipate our country. They have picked it from where they left it and more is to come.